I want to talk a little bit more about what happens when you open a file and how does access control factor into it. So process here is making these calls. We were talking about it first opens this file app, you know, not specifying the mode here, but maybe this is read. This line is going from user to the operating system. System call, you know, this is the boundary between the two. This is untrusted. This is trusted as we talk about. So this is all in the operating system. So basically, you know, the files are stored on a disk and files that are actively being accessed, the operating system keeps track of those information about a particular file is in a file control block. So if you've done your operating systems class, you have some idea of how file systems are implemented. But for each file that we want to access, we, you know, metadata that we're talking about for a file, you know, what's the file pointer, where should we read next, where on disk the file blocks are and other kind of information. Uh, we keep track of that in the file control block. In Unix world, that's called an inode. And there's a table of these. Uh, that's where this inode table stores the metadata about the active or currently open files. So this is, here I'm saying it file metadata table. A file that you can open has to be active. If it's not active, it, it's going to get activated. So there's something interesting happens when you open a file, you tell the file name, the operating system actually is going to go and say, is this file currently active? If it is active, then there is going to be a file control block for it, okay? That's where the metadata for this file is going to be. So the process also has another data structure that's called an open file table. Okay, this is kept by the operating system. It's a per process data structure we're talking about. So in this open file table that we have for this process that is making this, this open call, basically what we want to do in the open call is that we want to see if the file is active. If it is, then there is a metadata block or file control block for it. In the open file table, there's some set of entries that we have. This is a fixed size table. We're gonna use one of those entries to actually store a pointer to this. And the file descriptor we return is actually nothing but an index into this table. So the I is the index in this table that we're returning. Our, our thing was about access check, when do we perform? Actually, in, in Unix-based systems, access control is done when you open the file. At the time the file is opened, remember we're gonna go in, we're gonna find out if the file is currently active or not. We're gonna locate its file control block where the metadata is. In particular, the ACL is here too. If the ACL is here, then it was nine bits that I was talking about. Uh, depending on the, the user or what group uh, the user is part of, I'm actually gonna look at those ACL bits that we are discussing. And if the, the mode here is read and you have read permission, I do all this, okay? I'm gonna grant you access. Mode is write and the write permission is here. I'm going to do all this and give you write permission uh, to place data into this file. So access check is gonna happen when during the open calls execution in the operating system system because we locate this information where the ACL information is and we're going to look that up and if everything checks out we set this up and return this file descriptor. So the reason we do it at the time it's, it's open is that when you come to read you specify a file descriptor. So is this going to say, you know, read i here, for example, that's what you're saying. Well, once I come to the operating system, it's the ith, that's, remember, is an index into a table. That tells me it's this particular entry in the table. Follow the pointer that it points to. That's where the file metadata is, and that tells you where the file data is. I don't do any access check at the time I do a read or write. I just sort of quickly follow these pointers and get to the file. If I'm doing reads, then I find the file data returned into the, copy that into the buffer. If I'm doing a write, then I copy the data from the buffer into file cache or something like that. It, it gets copied. So there's no check done during either a read call or a write call. The check was done when we did the open. Okay, so the fact that a descriptor was returned to you, at that time we did the checking, and now you're able to do that. If we open it for read and you try to do write, of course we're gonna stop that. Okay, so uh, that goes without saying. Uh, but we, we don't have to go look for the, the particular, do the traversal that we're talking about.